progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving, and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot, now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime, a microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength and their potential is limitless. The leadership of Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Progress. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking. We're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn his company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now. Like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay. Just wait a second. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Well, we're definitely safe out here, because we'll never get in. We're in. Keep your head down. Of Dr. Alistair Smythe. Wow, look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god, this could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. Dr. Smythe. Hey, you kids are in big trouble. What are you doing it's here? It's okay, it's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh... I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. I, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You worked uh, with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connors' work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connors did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? 
Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit, but they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. Wow. I don't think he likes me. That's strange. It only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are... unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it, you won't want to leave. Hey, excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B-Sector. No, I don't have time for this. Hey, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wander. It's an order, Miss Stacy. Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. Uh, great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, partner. It, is that... You gotta be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. What the what? What did you do to it? I... I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. I've never... Oh my god! It's breaking the glass! It's breaking your own! This is my fault. I shouldn't have brought you here. But I can help. Okay? Oh, uh, I'll be fine, thanks. Get me to the quarantine area. I can help you save the other scientists from there. These robots look like they want to eat me for lunch. They've been programmed to defend us against cross species, which I guess you technically are. So, yeah, watch out, Pete. Oh my god! 
Did you no. see that? Tell me that one. Get you out of here. Go. Hit him with this. Oh. It's not working. It got me. Web swing across. What if these things get out of Oscorp? I don't want to think about what ifs right now. Safety. Thanks, Pete. I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask, what's gonna happen to you? It's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But... But what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved. Mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's... There's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. The creature has stopped its rampage that? in the center of the park. Yeah. Now that we can have a good look, we can confirm this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's...
putting an end to this. Any last words before I put you in the scrapyard? And here it comes. Open your mouth. Biologists are responsible. Those vultures. I wonder if Michael Morbius led the charge. Nice enough guy, but no one else seemed more interested in my research. Always insisted I focus on bats instead of reptiles for some reason. Uh, no Batman out there, Doc. That's just ridiculous. There is a rat, though. And that rhymes, anyway. And I'll bet that one's particularly contagious. You see, it's not the new cross species themselves that alarm me so much as the deadly virus that's resulted as a side effect. And you say it's infected half my former colleagues. And Gwen. And Gwen. And our only hope is what? Alistair Smythe and his band of killer robots? They destroy the city worse than the virus could ever hope to. There has to be another way. Well, you don't think I broke in here just to tell you the good news, do you? Wait. What are you talking about? I'm gonna get you out of here. Really? Spider-Man breaking out the lizard from his cage? <laughs> Who's the crazy one here? I'm through discussing this. Time to make a decision. Wait. If you do this, you must promise me. No matter what happens, when it's all over, you must bring me back here. Now go before my medication wears off and I realize how insane this situation really is. As soon as I get this door open, you run as fast as you can, okay? Right. Got it. Breaking out one of the biggest threats we've ever seen from a mental asylum? This will look good on my resume. Looks like the one. Connor's getting time off for good behavior. Hey, get away from there! No, no! no. It's emergency unlock! I, I, I can't override it! The patients can leave their rooms. This is your fault! You gotta help me! I have to help you? <laughs> you tased me, bro! What the hell are you even doing here, Spider-Man? Okay, I'll help you clean up this mess. But make sure your friends don't shoot me in the back. Shoot you right now! Get out of here! I'm going. Just don't expect a friend request anytime soon. Everybody, go back to your cell for nap time, all right? Spider went up this stupid wall! You want a taste? Left. I'll meet you there. Hey, wait. Guess he knows his way around this place. Time to get these guys in their cells and play nurse to the injured. I think the situation is under control. It's time to leave. You're right. My good deed quota's been filled. Let's give our goodbyes. Good news. We're almost out. Once we clear the storage room, we'll be in the inner courtyard. Was there bad news, Doc? We're not the only ones trying to escape, my friend. I think your time here has been beneficial to your mental health. A 
and the spectacular Spider-Man frees the dashing damsel in distress. I'll thank you later. Hey, come back! You know, you can thank me by getting back to your cell. Breaking in and breaking out. Looks like everyone's breaking out. Great. I'll have to deal with them later. Come on, Doc. Where are we headed? As much as I'd like to take a vacation, we need to get back to my apartment. Cops. Of course. Fasten your seatbelt, Connors. There you go. Door-to-door -door service. It's not much, but it's a quiet place to work while you develop the antidote. You live here? Are you kidding? I couldn't afford to rent the closet in this place. It belongs to an old friend of my Aunt May. His name's Stan. I'm house-sitting for the summer. Mm, I don't know about this. Well, the other option is going back to the lizard's lab. In the sewer. Oh, this'll do. Where should we set up the lab? Uh, over here. I guess we start with getting whatever equipment you need to work on an antidote. There's the computer. Kind of old, but it works. A few books for reference over there, not much. Oh, there's a copy of Splice of Life over there. And the television. Guess we should see if we made the news. We're stunned today when Kirk Connors, the lizard himself, escaped from the Belloid Psychiatric Hospital with the aid of costume vigilante Spider-Man. There's no clear motive for the breakout, but police have started a citywide search for these two extremely dangerous fugitives. Now, back to the main <sighs> story. I guess that's a yes. Brilliant. Now they'll think you're the villain, Peter. This is all my fault. Doc, if you help me come up with a cure, we'll both be heroes. I'll contact Gwen and see what's happening. Wait, will you tell Gwen? About me? I have to. Just another reason to create the antidote, right? Now, what are we gonna need to set up your lab? For starters, all my research. I stored my files on a tablet with an Ouroboros insignia on it. It won't be easy to locate. <laughs> no problem there. I broke into Oscorp once. I can do it again. Peter, be careful. If Oscorp was continuing my work in secret, we don't know what to expect. This is not the same serum that infected me. It's a virus now. So I've heard. So, ready to play God? <laughs> you do remind me of him. Your father. Oh, uh, Gwen's calling. Pete. Gwen! I'm glad you're all right. Listen, I'm with Connors now. I know, Peter. The whole city knows. You broke him out of prison? It's a mental facility. Are you out of your mind? You know what Connors did to the city. He created this problem to begin with. And he can create an antidote. This isn't the lizard. This is Dr. Connors. <gasps> can he bring my father back? <sighs> Gwen. I trust you, Peter, but I can't trust him. I'm sorry. I had no choice, but he's the key to getting you better. And right now, I need you to gather his research for me. I can't. Dr. Smythe sent it to Oscorp's archive facility. Just hold on a little while longer. I'm on my way. Hurry, Pete. I know we're quarantined, but it feels like we're prisoners. Uh, Smythe says he's working on a solution. I'm gonna get you out of this, Gwen. I hope so. <sighs> Gwen's been through a lot. I murdered her father, Peter. You didn't kill anyone. It was the lizard. I want to believe you. Let's make Gwen believe it. I want this wagon surrounded at all times. Is that clear? As you can tell, ladies, this ain't no ordinary load of trash. Dr. Spite himself has instructed that this goes straight to the incinerator. No matter what happens along the way, that freak Spider-Man is still on the loose. So keep an eye out for anything suspicious, from the floor to the ceiling. 
Now let's roll. Why do they need all of us just to babysit a bunch of boxes? These boxes belong to the guy that nearly wiped out the entire city. So I'm guessing it's pretty heavy. I'm just saying, they couldn't get the janitors to throw this stuff out? You hear what I just said? Whatever's in there could blow us all to kingdom come. <sighs> relax, man. I'll relax on my own time, after this stuff is destroyed. All right, pack it on top of what we already got here. Everything must be destroyed. More guards. This guy's in charge, those two on lookout. Some grunts packing things up, and... <laughs> What's this guy doing? Taking pictures for the Oscorp calendar? Get this stuff to the incinerator ASAP. Good. Now get a move on. Sir! Yes, sir! Don't go, little shutterbug. I hardly knew you. I have to stop this convoy before they destroy Connor's research. Uh. I've got to get to Connor's data before these idiots destroy it. Maybe this guy knows what the house cleaning's all about. He sure seems to be logging it well. <laughs> Spider-Man? But you're that reporter on TV, Whitney Chang. What are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Well, good to know you like to be on top, and I don't usually go this far on a first date. <laughs> the network know you got a potty mouth? Help me out now, please. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Easy. So you know who I am. Who's the man behind the mask? You want the short answer or the long one? After you pulled that stunt busting Connors out of the asylum, everyone's wondering about your true intentions. You think his research was shipped here too? What do you mean by two? You're here for Connors' files? Well, it's not for the fresh air and conversation. There are rumors that Oscorp's new facelift is a scam. They continued the lizard's experiments, and now they're trashing the evidence. I'm calling it the Oscorp conspiracy for my story. What do you think? <laughs> I told you to stop. Hey, give me that back. Stop! Intruder! What the heck are you doing? I'm in uniform. I can play my role, not play yours. It's Spider-Man! <laughs> Was that necessary? Come on, Spider-Man. Aren't you gonna fight back? Push me in the next room. Get me out of here. Put him up, now! <laughs> now he's mine! <laughs> Hurts me more than it hurts you. Here, we have to find Connor's research before it gets obliterated. I'll go over there. I want to take a picture. Not without your camera. How's it coming? Can you reroute the convoy? I've tried everything, but it's not working. There's a switch over there. Can you get to it? I'm on it. Well, did it work? No, and now the system's on lockdown. It won't respond. Wait here. I have another idea. She needs her own costume. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Move! I'm not the droid you're looking for. Oh, you're a real comedian. And you know what the next line is? Move along! She's braver than me. But she broke superhero rule number one. Don't get caught. I've got to get her back. Who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> what kind of sexist question is that? Can a girl do something on her own? Answer me! I was looking for the mean jerks with guns convention. Is this it? She stuck her nose where it doesn't belong. And so did you. <clears throat> That ought to teach you some manners. A member of the media. What is that? Oh, look out! He's over there! Try this on his size! Right back at you! Whitney, Miss Chang, hello? Come on, wake up. 
<clears throat> you didn't try to kiss me, did you? <sighs> I wanted to, but you were drooling, so. What are we waiting for? Let's go. What now? I'll see if I can stop the incinerator. You're gonna have to try and grab the container before it's all extra crispy. Okay, go! Are we looking for the same thing? Connor's research. It's on a tablet computer. Has an Ouroboros symbol on it. Okay, I'm going for it. Whoa! I got it! Ah! Ah! Don't worry, I'll get you out of here. <sighs> My hero. It just nicks me, okay? I'll be fine. <sighs> oh, this must be the slowest elevator in town. Any other way out of here? Why leave so early? I was hoping for the next dance. Maybe you can dance yourself out of the way, Cupcake. Smack you down! The kids keep coming! Like a real gentleman. It was a pleasure meeting you, Spider-Man. Hope to see you around. Uh, you forgetting something? Oh, I don't normally give out my number to mass vigilantes, if that's what you mean. The research. A deadly virus infected a lot of Oscorp scientists. That thing's got data that can help create an antidote. I've risked my life to get this just as much as you did. You need it for a story. I need it to save innocent lives. Not so fast. I'll hand it over. On one condition. Here we go. Fine, I agree. Keep my camera and take pictures of everything you can. Everything newsworthy. Especially anything that can help get to the bottom of all this. Keep me posted. This is something that people deserve to know about. Fair enough. It's a deal. Thanks, Whitney. Well, you did save my life, Spider-Man. Now get going. Don't forget to send me updates. You wouldn't want me to tell people you're a no-good liar, no, would you? I'll think about it. See you around. Perfect. Now we're in business. Uh, Doc? Very good. Very good. Did uh, you go shopping while I was out? What? Oh, I had a few essentials delivered. A few essentials? You said yourself your computer is six years old. Where'd you get the money? I used the credit card. A credit card? Yes, there was one on the bookshelf. You said it yourself. We need to turn this place into a proper lab. But that, that was Stan's. Oh, he's gonna kill me. How much did you spend? What? Oh, I'm not sure. I just used it till it didn't work anymore. Don't worry. I only need one more thing. Don't say a jacuzzi. A sample of DNA from one of these new cross species. It's the final piece to complete this puzzle. From the looks of things, you'll have plenty of samples to choose from. I'll take care of it. Just keep working. I'm gonna call Gwen. Gwen? It, it's me. Spider-Man? I didn't know you were close to Gwen. She's sleeping. Doc, I, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm trying to get you a cure. I heard that you helped Kurt Connors escape from an asylum. I heard the guards at my archive facility have broken noses. Here we are quarantined. We have fever, nausea, it's difficult to focus, and my robots say a cross-species is still in the building. So after all this, Spider-Man, you tell me you have a cure. Connors can get you the serum you don't have, Smythe. We're your best hope. I do have an antidote. And it's almost finished. And it's made with nanobots. They enter the bloodstream and destroy the monsters at a cellular level. The only way to stop this plague is to completely annihilate the host. Smythe, listen to me. That's a poison, not a cure. Connors is there with you, isn't he? Tell you what, Spidey. If you and Connors make an antidote before I finish my nanobot cocktail, feel free to try and cure these things. But Connors should know 
The dark side can never be cured. Only destroyed. Smite. Wait! Connor's cure needs a DNA sample from the creature that infected everyone back at Oscorp. Code 3, officers in pursuit. Over. Not on I love the fresh smell of sewers in the morning. Come on out, cross species. Dr. Connors needs your DNA. Tunnels? I didn't sign up for the grand tour. Maybe it's time I start thinking like a spider. I wanted to know if I could borrow a sample of your blood. That's not the neighborly welcome I hoped for. Stinky? like to hide in dark subterranean layers. How about a sunny beach? Huh? Just once. Seems like someone's been busy. Oh, come on! I need your blood in this syringe, silly. Not all over the walls. And what's it gonna take?
get a lollipop, but I'm in a rush and pull out of lollipops. What is that? <laughs> oh, no, please! I beg you! No, no not elimination! Oh, please! No! No! <laughs> gotcha. Is it gonna do the trick? It has to. It's our only chance. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but hurry up. There's no more time. All right, let's see what you're made of. Still more reports of people being bitten by these strange creatures. And yes, as I confirmed earlier, these creatures escaped from Oscorp Towers. The infection has been classified as an outbreak, and the CDC is aiding city officials in thwarting the disease. Those who have been infected have bitten others, causing the infection to spread at an even more alarming rate. People are being warned to stay indoors. It is unclear at this time whether officials are planning for a citywide quarantine, closing off the island of Manhattan from the outer boroughs and beyond. I'm gonna contact Gwen. Gwen? Are you there? Hi, Pete. Are you alright? I've been better, that's for sure. Is the antidote finished? We're close. Can you hang in there a while longer? I'm good, but the infection's more advanced than some of the others. Why are we depending on Connors? How can we trust him? He's... he's doing the best he can. Well, better do it faster. Dr. Strom's not looking too good. Ah! Make it stop! Get him some water! Make it stop! Stand back. Let him breathe. No! Don't let it... It's... Ah! Help me! Oh my god! He's convulsing! He's having a seizure! No! He's... changing! Ah! Oh no! Dr. Strom! Let him go! Cross-species detected. Engage. Cross-species detected. Engage. No. Let me go, you metal maniac! No! Let him go! You're hurting him! Put him down! Dr. Strom! No! What's happening? Gwen! The robots! They're taking Dr. Strom! It looks like they're trying to kill him! They must have been programmed to go after anyone with a large trace of cross-species DNA. Pete, hurry! I don't know how much longer we can last. I'm coming, Gwen. I promise. I'm gonna get you out of there. I've gotta go. Just hurry. She'll be all right, Peter. Gwen's a strong girl. She'll pull through. All right. Here we have it. That's it? Yes. This is it. I'm grateful. I, I just expected it would be more... Futuristic looking. Well, it hasn't been tested, of course, but I ran a computer simulation. It should do the trick. That's okay. We don't have time for testing. I trust you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Kurt. We'll celebrate later. I'm heading to Oscorp. Start mass producing this thing. We're gonna need it. Peter, where are you? I'm back, Gwen. And I got the antidote with me. This cross-species virus is history. It's from Connors? I don't know. Despite what you think, Connors wouldn't let anything happen to you. And neither would I. 
The city always looks more alive at night. You're out of line. It's no use. I'm gonna throw that thing through a wall. Will you look at this place? What happened here? I tell you, if this infection keeps spreading, it ain't gonna be a lie. So many bad guys, stop. so little time. And that's for everyone. Been transferred. Oh, hey there. Just passing through. Okay? Mission accomplished. What are you talking about? The elevator. It's out of service. Permanently. You took the whole elevator out? A little overboard, don't you think? Relax. I'll just tell them you did it. Oh. What's one more Attention blemish on my route? Spider-Man has breached the facility. Let's see moving toward the quarantine area with a large cross species. We'll consider both targets your top priority. The big boss wants both of them alive. I'm talking Mr. Osborne himself, guys. But if you should accidentally have to load your gun with bullets rather than tricks, well, whoops. Why does Norman Osborn care if Spider-Man is alive? You can knock all you want, but you can't come in! I was close! This could have been a lot easier. But we did it. I knew you would. Spider-Man. The 
prodigal son returns. And what's this? A cure to the infection. A cure. With all due respect, you ever hear the expression ladies first? This serum should be used on... So Connor starts his whole nightmare, then redeems himself with his half-baked concoction. <laughs> Amazing. You would think he was trying to steal Oscorp out from under me. Dr. Smythe. Could never let you be his guinea pig, Gwen. Ah, oh, beautiful Gwen. Who knows what this serum will do? If anyone should risk it, it should be me. No! If it works, we'll study it and design it at Oscorp. Not some insane asylum. Or sewer. Or spider web. So, without further delay, after all this. I'm guessing that some people can just brush this off and keep playing the tough guy. I'm not one of those people. That could have gone smoother. Gwen, I don't know if you can still hear me, but hang in there. I need to find Connors and make another antidote. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. Antidote was supposed to save them. Not cripple them. Did he do it on purpose? I need to talk to him. Now! Thank me, big guy! I think so. Yo, 
Believe this, he's gone. Quinn was right. How could I be so stupid? I let the lizard escape. Oh, sorry. I left to go to go see my family. I found them, Martha and Billy, in the backyard. I just hid there, watching. Peter, my God, what happened to you? What happened? Thanks to your antidote, not only is Dr. Smythe crippled, but now I'm afraid he's gonna hurt Gwen. That's what happened. But my antidote shouldn't interfere with his- Well, it did interfere. It interfered real bad. He can't walk anymore. You told me it would work. I said theoretically. Theoretically? This is not a science project. People's lives are at stake. Are you the lizard or Kirk Connors? Tell me. If you are seriously asking me that question, Maybe you should have just left me at the asylum. Gwen is still back there. Do you know what's gonna happen if she changes? I did my best. We'll save her. We will! You're bleeding. So what? You're tired. You need to lie down. No. I need to save Gwen. I need to save everybody. Peter, you need rest. I can't stop. I, 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 I've got to... Sleep, Peter. I'm going to finish this. Just sleep. How can it be that you never got infected? Wait. You? You are the answer, Peter Parker. What's this? No, no. Yes. <laughs> Can it be that simple? No. Verify the data, Doctor. Verify the data! Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> I'm coming. Easy. Are you all right? I... Uh, how long was I asleep? Long enough for me to complete the antidote. Antidote? Yes. A new cure. A perfect antidote. How do you know? The answer was you. Your blood, Peter. Suddenly, I realized that you are the perfect cross-species. 
Whatever it is about your blood that keeps you from transforming completely, that's what makes you unique. Your human side never gave way to the spider. It's done. So, you ready to play God? How soon can you have it ready? It's ready. Peter, you've got to help me. Where are you? They brought us in the biolabs facility. Smythe's still trying to finish his work on his own serum. Uh, a serum with nanobots. They wanted us to be the first test subjects when it was done, and I ran. I got away, but I'm stuck here. I'm coming to get you. Connors has a new antidote. Is everybody together? Oh, the robots took them downstairs. Where's Smythe? I, I don't know. I can hear his robots. I, I think they're... Just stay put, okay? Hurry, Pete. I don't know how long I can stay out of sight. Wait a sec. Gwen! What's happening? Gwen! Talk to me! Are you alright? Peter! I'm losing the signal! It's... Gwen! Get through this door and get this to Gwen. I hope she's all right. Okay over there. Hey, 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 check him again. He's right there. Tell me up. You don't think I'll find you, do you? Get him while you can. He's right there. Contamination level seventy-five percent. Time's running out. Hey, folks. Spider-Man here. I have an antidote to the infection. You're gonna be all right. Just hold on a little while longer. Thank God. You don't know what we've gone through. Gwen, where are you? Everything's gonna be fine, but I need to find Gwen Stacy. Where is she? She ran away, but we don't know where. Okay, I'm coming for you guys. Hold on. Spider-Man, hurry! We can't hold much longer! I'm coming! Just hang in there! I'm gonna get you out! Contamination level 98%. Eradication end. Enough talk! Time to get busy. Come on! I don't have time for this! You just don't quit, do you? Contamination level 100%. Eradication problem. Take cover while I deal with these tin cans! Let me get through these guys first! Okay, let's get this over with. Hit me with your best shot! Die! Uh, can we pretend I didn't say that? What in the... You made it. So far. Here's the antidote. Enough for everyone. And this time, it works. It has to. Let's hope so. Ah, uh, it stings. Uh, I don't know how you did it, but it works. That's a big relief. All right, everyone step up for your shots. This robot, only Gwen could have sent it. It means she's alive. I'm sure she's alive. You did it. I'm here now. I, I have the cure, and it works. Gwen? Gwen? No. No, you can't do this. I saved you. I did everything I could to save you. You've got to hold on for me. Gwen? Gwen, you got to fight for me. You've got to fight! What? You know that you were the one. When I first saw you in science class, I just wanted to be with you. I even when I promised I wouldn't, I just wanted to love you. I'm lost without you, Gwen. Peter, that is the cheesiest speech I've ever heard. 
Gwen! <laughs> You're... Alive. And feeling a lot better. The antidote works? <laughs> it sure does. Peter, <laughs> is everything okay? Are you okay is the question. I'm getting better. Good. Just another day at Oscorp, huh? I can't believe you had the strength to reprogram that robot. Well, the newer models still attacked you, though. They must be operating under a different protocol. Smythe probably had something to do with that. Kept enough robots under his command to keep control of the situation. I'm not sure if anyone's controlling this situation. Where's Smythe now? He disappeared after he sent out the SO2, the snake robot, to kill you. I guess Oscorp is reevaluating his job performance. You think we can try and hack through the computer system and shut down the rest of the robots? Uh, Alistair Smythe designed the codes himself. Not likely. Thought you'd say something like that. Well, get some rest. We'll be out of here soon. Okay, a little heads up, Gwen. Web slinging indoors is a little different than outdoors. So hold on tight, and we'll be at my place soon. Peter, I'm fine. Gwen, you almost died. You there's need no time. We need to set something straight first. You mean between us? <laughs> no, Pete. You have enough to do. And people are still in the dark about what really happened here. They think you're the bad guy. How many times are we gonna split up? I need to tell the police what's happened. I know people in the force that were close to my father. They'll listen. J just promise me, if you feel... Pete, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Now go. Doc, the serum works. Gwen and the scientists are saved. What's happening? Have you seen the news recently? They talked of putting the whole island in quarantine. Worried about a global pandemic. I'm trying to macro up my serum before this virus spreads outside of New York. You all right? Do you think they'll ever forgive me? You're about to save an entire city. That helps. Not the city. My family. Everyone will. I'm sure of it. We're gonna get this city back under control. Everyone's gonna be all right. Have you heard about those poor souls at the bank? What bank? The heist at St. Gabriel's. Need to go tune on the TV. St. Gabriel's Bank is under siege with an untold number of gunmen inside. With the outbreak of an undetermined virus threatening the city, the police are spread thin, and it's clear these criminals have taken advantage of an already bad situation. I wonder who's behind this. Go then. You can stop it. I'll finish my work here. If you keep stalling, something bad might happen. I'm certified crazy, you know. I'm not stalling, I swear. Why can't you have a nice normal safe I can break into? I won't ask you again. The codes. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll give you the code. Just don't kill me. Hey, boss, we got cops all over the place. There's no way out. Don't sweat it, I have an escape plan. We know you're in there, Felicia. You and your koozie to come out nice and easy. I see my reputation precedes me. Dad would be so proud. You, come with me.
Watch this hey. back. You're good in my book, Spidey. Hey, Spider-Man! I have to find the director. Can you help me get to the vaults? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe you can take the air ducts from his office. But you'll need clearance from the control room's computer. Enter 0601 in the console to open all the doors. Thanks. Let's see. This should do the trick. Don't move a muscle. Now come with me. How am I supposed to follow you if I can't move a muscle? What the? Go, go, go! Move it, move it, move it! Station one, clear! Station two, clear! Station three, clear! On the ground, now! Hands where I can see them! All clear! We got this, you can proceed. I don't want them to think I'm with these goons. Does anyone have eyes on Hardy? In that form-fitting outfit? It's hard not to. Go ahead, I dare you to move! Hey, 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 calm down! We surrender, we surrender, okay? Spider-Man versus Felicia, who's your money on? Felicia, of course. She sees everything. Unless Spider-Man can turn invisible, he doesn't stand a chance. Oops. Hey, what gives? He's in the vents. Shoot the vents! Oh. Get out of here! No one's a hit It's been fun, but my ride's almost here. You're letting me go? Of course, sweetheart. What use are you once we have all your money? Lord Almighty! What, what is going on? Ow, my leg! Ah, did you get a boo-boo? Huh. Get away by subway car. Never saw that one coming. We'll get rid of them. Nothing but faith in you guys. Well, wish I could say she's the first girl to ever run away at the mere sight of me. This kind of power. Huh. It's not the power you should be concerned about. It's the responsibility it gave me. You know, to beat the living crap out of criminals like you. Oh, I'll bet you say that to all the girls. Only the ones I really like. To see behind bars. A spider first, then a lizard. Maybe I could be part of your little animal kingdom. Tell me how. Um, nope. I'll find it without you, you know. So long, Spider. Uh, 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 not so fast, Felicia. When you get out of prison, you should think about changing careers. But, uh, keep the costume. Here's the girl you were looking for. Go easy with the handcuffs. Wouldn't want her to break a nail. And, Felicia, don't go counting on me to break you out this time. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, Spider. I wouldn't worry about that at all. Hello? Dr. Connors! Dr. Connors? The CDC upgraded it to an outbreak level disaster. 
People all over the city show symptoms of what we now know as the cross species virus, following attacks by the creatures. What have I done? In the meantime, Oscorp Industries has released a statement distancing itself from Dr. Alistair Smythe, who was fired shortly after. Peter Parker, I introduce you to my spider slayer. Great! Just don't mess up the furniture! Robots are getting harder to Reported beat. aggression in a back alley. Taking over Oscorp. And it's used to such destructive ends. We have to find Connors before Alistair does something stupid. By killing him. It's not already done. The world doesn't need an antidote against evil, Connors. It needs a weapon. This nanobot serum is my greatest breakthrough. A new era of nanotechnology begins today. It will change everything. My legacy will be eternal. And I want you, Connors, to see it all unfold. Serum did more than take your legs. You've lost your mind, Smythe. Don't apologize. My mind has never been clearer. I have a responsibility. Why did you want to use a poison on innocent people? If you just let me... Don't speak to me like I'm an idiot, Connors. I know your plan. By presenting a solution to the problem you created, you're welcome back to Oscorp like the prodigal son. No. My work will shape the future, not yours. I will save the city. Alistair, I have no doubt that your work is important. That one day it will revolutionize the world. Not this way! I am destroying monsters that threaten to annihilate the city. What is more pure than good against evil? Think of Einstein. Think of Oppenheimer. They unlocked the secrets of the atom to save the world, not destroy it. Their work was corrupted by others, but you, you have a choice. And you had a choice as well. You chose evil. You are either with us or against us, Doctor. Don't make the mistake I made. You have to know there's only one way this will end. Alistair, the serum you injected yourself with wasn't ready. You still have the cross-species virus inside of you. I can help you. And who will help Do you think Spider-Man will come to your rescue? I hope he does. It's too bad he isn't here. To share this moment with us. This moment? Our trial run. It was your failure to test your sample that led to such unfortunate events. I will not make the same mistake. Funny. I feel them sometimes. As if they still were. But they don't. You've lost it. You belong in a nut house, Alistair! I'm sure you can recommend a few. Cool off a bit as I prepare the nanobot serum. Think about what you've done.
Seems like I'm always breaking you out of places. Peter, you shouldn't have come. Sorry I'm late. Robots, rush hour traffic, you know. And what? Leave you behind. Smythe is doing this because of me. So here we all are. What a meeting of the minds. All species detected. Go. Get to your old lab. Bad memories or not, you have to go. You mind if I borrow these, Spider-Man? Connors is right. You shouldn't have come. But I knew you. What would people say if Spider-Man couldn't save his friends? Well, you'll find out soon enough. I'll give you one last chance, Smythe. Stop all this! Or what? Connors did his part. And now, you will do yours. And in time, this will all come to an end. What are you talking about? I had no real interest in Connors. I wanted the bigger fish. But let's not spoil the surprise. Soon Oscorp will regret turning their back on me. <laughs> it's gonna be hard getting your job back. Unless Oscorp has a work from prison program. <laughs> Well, once I save the world from the threat of the cross species, it won't matter what people think of me. My nanobots are the future. <laughs> You're still infected, Smythe. And I don't have much time, do I? And now, my guinea pig, just relax. I won't unleash this on the world without testing it first. I'm not crazy. <laughs> you like your tombstone to read? Spider-Man or Peter Parker? Wakey, wakey, Spider-Man. What's the matter? Can't handle a few million poisonous nanobots in your bloodstream? I'm... I'm still alive. Give it time. The fun's just starting. But you will never take my genius. My genius created this, and this will pound you into oblivion. Hey, a little warning next time, huh? Find the door. My web shooters. Can't leave without those. And my phone, too. I'm too weak to swing on a web. But I can still shoot a few. Webshot. There could be only one. 
doesn't want me to leave this place alive. See if anyone missed me while I almost got killed. Answer my messages, and I didn't know what to do, so I came here looking for you. Look, I hate this place, and I hate Connors for what he did, but I want to trust you. Peter, what happened? <laughs> Just another disagreement between me and a powerful madman bent on world destruction. <laughs> you know how it goes. <sighs> my powers are gone. What? How? <laughs> Smythe injected me with some nanobot cocktail, like a mechanical virus. I'm fading, Gwen. I can feel it. Not only my powers, but... Where's Connors? I, I looked around. This place is deserted. There's more to this lab than you know, Miss Stacy. Connors! You're all right! We can still get this antidote out! Is it ready? Smythe's robots are destroying the city. It's ready. But we can't stop them without Spider-Man's help. And while he'll never admit it, Pete's not in a condition I... to go anywhere. I'll be dancing in just a minute! This cure is useless if no one's alive to get it. So this is it. After all that's happened, it comes down to this. I swore never again to touch this. But I must. God help me. What do you mean? Wait, what is that? If I can get back here before it completely takes over. I might still have a chance. No! Tell me that is not what I think it is, Connors. Tell me you're not thinking of turning yourself into the lizard. I am not Do living you think I that want nightmare to? again. But how many people will die if I don't? My father died, you bastard! You have been planning this all along! Stop it, Gwen! What other choice do we have? With Peter in his condition, the Lizard is the only one strong enough to stop you Smythe! You are not a superhero! You are a monster! No. I'm not a monster! And I'm not a superhero. I'm a scientist. Now listen to me! There's a time window before the Lizard Brain takes over. A window where I'm in control! 
I can use the lizard's powers to defeat the robots. And I swear I'll be back before it takes over. It's our only hope. Stopped. It's lucky I found this thing. Hey now, I'm supposed to be the one who saves lives around here. Uh, Connors, where's Connors? He's the lizard now. We haven't been crushed by a giant robot, so I think he's helping us for now. He needs help. I gotta get up you there. Need to stay right here. That's not gonna happen. I feel better now than when I came in here somehow. There's no way I'm reaching that thing. You need a lift, Spider-Man! Hey! today. It ain't gonna happen again. Hide! This is not gonna be easy! System's not responding! Damn it! Back. You won't prevent me from saving this city!
Save the city. Look around you. This is your idea of saving the city? They must. They must lead us to a brighter, better tomorrow. Forget about tomorrow, Smythe. It may not come. Oh my god. My god, what have I done? this scrap heap to find the serum. Don't try and stop me from turning you back. Any last words from the lizard before I get my friend back? Words, Connors. With syllables? Saved you. Is everyone all right? Gwen? She's fine. You didn't hurt anybody. Except me. 
simply about Smythe. If there's any justice in the jail cell downtown. I see. I guess his dream failed. <laughs> he saw the world in black and white. And tried to shape it to his vision. But it's all just shades of grey, isn't it? I guess so. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to get back to the asylum. I hear it's movie night. You saved the day, Doc. Today, the lizard was a hero. He's still inside, Peter. Lurking in the shadows. We all have our monsters. Keeping them at bay makes us strong. Smythe couldn't see that. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. You're so much like your father, Peter. This is Whitney Chang with the aftermath of the virus outbreak that started at Oscorp Towers and spread to the streets of the city. <laughs> Come on, Whitney. Spider-Man saves the world. You can do it. Not gonna happen. Spider-Man, once believed to be the cause of the outbreak, is now being called a hero by city officials and the public. <laughs> Yes, you owe me a dollar. I'll write you a check. We've learned that Spider-Man not only fought the robots and cross species holding the city under siege, but also helped develop a cure for the outbreak. Hey, what about me, Whitney? Pfft, what about you? I bet you wind up in a secret underground lair of some other mad scientist by the end of the day, and I'll have to save you. Oh, is that what I am? A damsel in distress? I don't know, but you're definitely distressing me. <laughs> Another cheesy line to go in your collection. Going to such dangerous lengths as to break the infamous Dr. Kirk Connors out at the Beloit Mental Facility in order to develop a cure. I know Connors helped you, but I'm still missing a father. I know. As officials monitor the situation and ensure that the infection is not spread, I'm sorry. I I'm being told that I'm being told that Dr. Smythe, who was arrested earlier today for his involvement in this crisis, has apparently escaped police custody. A guy in a wheelchair ran away from the police? <sighs> I gotta do something. Tomorrow. Deal with it tomorrow. This is Whitney Chang with... I can feel my legs again. I'm turning into one of them. They think they saved the city. But how can you regain your humanity when the beast infects your soul? I did the right thing. I had the answer. It's in me. Taking my thoughts. My body. I will not live like that. I am... I am in control. In control. I am... One of them. I will never be one of them. Oh,